Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC, for each of the following reactions. So we just have to write the QC for this formula. So I got Br2 gas, which will come to equilibrium or, you know, yield and produce 2Br, which is a gas. So the QC formula is a very generalized formula. It's this one right here. Maybe I'll just put this over here. So the QC, C stands for concentrations. So when we start doing the numbers and we start having numbers to plug it in, we're always going to use concentration values, a.k.a. molarity. So the QC always equals the concentration of the products. These brackets is a symbol for concentration, a.k.a. molarity. So it's the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And then I just have this little thing up here. This means that we're going to just raise it to the coefficient values. And remember, the coefficient values are the big numbers in the front. But it's basically just products divided by reactants. So let's go. Now I have QC, but now before I even start writing, right, I just want to double check. Now there are exceptions, not exceptions, but they're rules. Look down here, guys. There's only two states that are allowed in the QC formula. Aqueous, which is AQ, and gases are allowed to be in here. So no solids, no S's, and no liquids, L's. So just double check on that. Well, I got a gas here, and I got a gas here. G's are gases, and gases are allowed, so we're good. So I'm going to say I can use this one, and I can use this one. All right, now let's get to it. Products divided by reactants. So I'm going to put my bracket here. I'm going to say what product I have. It's the BR. So I got BR. Close the bracket. And now I got to raise it to the coefficient, the big number in the front. There was a 2 in front of here, right? You see this? 2BR. So what do you think I'm going to have to raise it to? Yeah, the second. That's the only product. So now I go to the reactant side. I'm on the bottom here now. So I got my compound, BR2, right? Close it up. And now what was the coefficient for BR2? Well, there was nothing in front of it. So that means that there was 1. You can raise it to the first, but technically anything raised to the first is itself. So you might not see it being raised to the first on like a test or quiz. They would just leave it like that. And we're done. This is the QC formula. So it's just the concentration of Br squared divided by Br2, the concentration of Br2. All right? But as we get later into this uh, chapter, we're going to start plugging in with math values. So stick around, okay? Thank you so much for viewing the video. Really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you so much for that. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.